This is Songs 46, verse 2. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakaha Kwadash. Double honor to the elders of the great millstone who taught me this truth. A sincere shalom, labakariyam, shah, yasha Allah. That's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. What we got is breaking news here. You see the title. You know, this is um, Into Thin Air. You know, Earth Watcher. You know, I like watching him because he got his own way of uh, checking out these events like this that just happened. Um, I say about 12 hours ago. There was an earthquake in Florida and New York City got hit also. We're going to look into it because they're not reporting this. They're not reporting this because um, when I first heard about it, I went right over to my earthquake app. And as you're going to see in this video, they're not reporting this. You know, because I'm like, why is it not coming up on my earthquake app? This is my earthquake app right here. So you can see. The latest earthquakes this is the most recent let me refresh it this is the most recent right here they're reporting in Colombia you know but you could see you know nowhere on this app and look at all these earthquakes man the Lord is working the earth is shaking and the earth is about to shake you know, this is serious business but you can see they're not reporting this so they don't want to alarm the people because remember you just had that that major one um, a few months back, you know, and that reached all from New Jersey. Uh, I heard they said it reached down to Texas, you know, and I think it took place in Pennsylvania and it shook New York City. So they they're high in this, but you do have uh, these channels right here, like this one is called Into Thin Air, who's breaking it, and he's gonna show you. You gonna go to the seismic graph and everything. And improve and, and what I like about this guy They actually reach out You know they call these centers that monitor the earth Whenever there's any shaking Or rumbling You know you got a lot of these um, These scientists You know they got all kind of gadgets and computer systems You know that they can go to it. And once that happens they're supposed to report it Like this You know we're supposed to get it up here But they didn't report it You know so they're getting scared so things is happening. The Lord is shaking the earth, but we're not going to fear. You know, we're going to stay in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. But with all this going on, you got the cyber attacks. You know, you got major um, alert. I just got one from AT&T. You know, 911 system wasn't working uh, for a few hours uh, this morning. You got a lot of things going on. Akim Akwaf, make sure you're in the right spirit right now. This is um, Luke 21, verse 11. There will be great earthquakes and in various places, famine and pestilence. And there will be terrors and great signs from heaven. And by the way, this is the ESV I'm reading right now. So the Lord let you know that these earthquakes, these are all signs. All signs of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah on his way. So the Lord is about to shake this place in many ways. But let's get to this video. Okay. Hold one second. I bet you weren't expecting this this morning, especially if you're from Florida. An earthquake, a 4.3, at least a reported 4.3. We'll get into that in a moment. Just east of Lake Okeechobee. Right here, you can see this was a 4.3 registered earthquake at 5 kilometers in depth or 3.1 miles. Now, the reason this is a weird situation is because, one, the USGS has not reported this, but another agency has. And that you can see on these details right here on Volcano Discovery, a magnitude 4. 4.3 earthquake 23 miles northwest of Wellington, Palm Beach County, Florida in the United States now 12 hours ago. So here is the image 5 kilometers in depth in the Florida Peninsula. Here is where the data came from, Ayidi. That is another company or group of people that have sensors and can record
record and put out data to the public about earthquakes. You can see the primary data source right here is again Ayidi or however this is pronounced and this is a second report. The last report had closer to 500 people reporting it and you can see the same details here. Five kilometers at 4.3 in strength. Now this is where things get weird again. Now what I did was I went down to Google Earth as I showed you earlier and I found out where the epicenter or at least where they're saying the epicenter of this earthquake is. It's right here in the middle of this farm off this highway it looks right here. So I went over and I looked at this area here at Osceola Farms. I actually called them up and I spoke to a nice lady there. I let her know who I was. And I just asked a question. I asked if overnight last night or anything like that, something weird happened, any shaking, anything like that. And she told me no, but on my second call, someone said that somebody was talking about a possible meteor sighting in the area. Now we've had this happen in the past and that's why Volcano Discovery is such a good website. That is this earthquake website here that not only records official seismic activity, but it also allows people to come on and report any sort of shaking they feel. And then later on in the day, it can be verified or determined whether or not it was a earthquake or a meteor explosion or even a sonic boom from the military. So now that we've had about 12 hours pass and this is still posted as an earthquake, that is my guess as of right now, but you can't rule out a meteor explosion. And very quickly, before I show you the seismogram of that quake in Florida that, again, is not showing up on the USGS, we did have an earthquake in Sparta, North Carolina. And also, take a look at this, as I posted on X, within the last six hours, also in New York, a reported earthquake by three different people, according to this site. You can see the details here. Reported quake or seismic-like event 10.6 miles west of New York City, New York. As of right now, it's a possible earthquake. And scrolling down to the details we have available, it's at a default depth of 10 kilometers, highly uncertain at this moment. And as I said before, three reports on this possible earthquake. Not only that, but once you have a seismogram that is made for an event, 99.9% .9 of the time, that means there was a seismic event. And right here, we have that chart. It was created after the Ayidi agency determined this to be an earthquake. And that's how we have this data now. All right, my friends, that is what I have for you on this situation. I'll obviously be posting more about it on X and all the other social media. So now as you, you can see, you see what's going on. So prepare your souls, man, prepare. The Lord is about to shake this place up. This is um Matthews 24 and 7. You know, we pray that the Lord keep on giving us this information because you, you you know you mainstream media, you can't you can't trust none of this. You know, and even these YouTubers, you know, you gotta take this with a grain of salt. But the Lord gonna show his men and his women and keep us in the loop of what's going on. Because they not saying anything about this here. Uh this is Matthews 24 and 7. This is ESV. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. Mark 13 and 8. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places. There will be famines. These are but the beginning of the birth pains. The birth pains of what? The deliverance. The deliverance of the nation of Israel from the hands of our enemies. So stay prayed up, Akim, Akwap. This thing is going down. Um, this is Isaiah 29, verse 6. ESV again. You will be visited by Yahweh, the power, with thunder and with earthquakes and great noise, with whirlwind and tempests and the flame of devouring fire. So these are all things we can expect. And, and you best believe the Lord is about to shake this land up. This is Psalms 60 verse 2. You have made the land to quake. And the Lord is doing this. The Lord has done it in the past and he's doing it again. You have torn it open. Repair its breaches for it is for it totters. You know? So, um... Trust and believe, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is playing no game. So as you can see, breaking Florida, North Carolina, and New York City, you know, and they're not reporting that the earth was quaking a few hours ago. So we're going to end it right there. Stay on your watch, giving all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Double honor to the elders of the Great Millstone. Shalom.